In this video, we're going to look at circles and how to draw circles. So this is the items we drew in the last video. So I'm going to use the middle mouse button to zoom in. So I'm going to roll up. So using the roll, I'm going to roll up and I'm going to use the middle, I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button. I'm going to pan over to these circles over here or this one circle over here. So on this circle, we got two symbols. We've got R for radius. This circle has a radius of four and this symbol means diameter. So all the way from here to here, it has a diameter of eight. Now, if you know from math class, the diameter is double the radius. So if you tell, go two times four, you get eight. So we're going to use either the radius or the diameter to draw circles. So we're going to go over here to the circle command right here. So here we have a line, a polyline, the third one, circle, and arc. So here's our draw toolbar. And in here, we're going to pick the circle. And at the bottom of the circle right there, there's a little arrow. I don't know if you can see it right here. There's a little arrow you click. And you've got several options. So you've got a circle center and radius for the circles. You click on the center, then the radius. Then you got center diameter. You got a two-point circle, three-point, and then you got tan, tan radius. Let's focus on the center and the radius. So we're going to click on the center and the radius. I'm going to pick a starting point, which is the center, and we're going to type like six. So this circle has a six radius. Let's do another one, circle, radius. Let's make a bigger one, let's make an eight. So we're gonna click here and go eight, enter. And now that circle has an eight radius. Now let's make a circle with a diameter. The same sizes, we'll make them diameter. So we'll go center diameter, we'll click here, okay? And then we'll do a six diameter. Notice that the circle's half the size. This time the diameter is six, here the radius was six. One more, we'll do another one here. We'll go center diameter. We'll click here and we'll do a diameter of eight. Okay, again, this circle is smaller than the other one. That has a radius of four. Should be the same size as that circle. Interestingly, you can also do other items here. Like for example, you could do a three point circle. I have not used this command, but let's take a look. We'll click on it and we can pick one point, another point and a third point and we can draw a circle that way. The one that does come in handy, and I'll zoom in on this rectangle, is this last one at the bottom. It's called tan, tan radius. So if you click on the tan, tan radius, and then it's going to touch two places, a little circle. So if, I don't know if you can see the circle with the line. You click on that side. You click on this side, and you hit one enter. So this circle touches that side, touches that side, and has a radius of one. It's like touch, touch radius. So let's try that again. Here you go tan tan radius. So let's make it touch this side. Let's make it touch that side. Now let's make it 0.5 radius. So 0.5. You do not have to type in that box. Anywhere you can put 0.5, enter. It makes a smaller circle. It touches here, touches there. 0.5. One last time. I'll do this command and then we'll finish with the circle. Tan tan radius. We'll click here. We'll touch there, touch there. And let's try a two. See, now this circle's two, and it touches here, touches there. And that's it for the circle command. 